From a young age, I knew that I only had a dad. My mother passed away when I was very young. Daddy, can you play dolls with me? But honey, I'm so busy right now. Just ten minutes, okay? Okay, okay, my princess. Hee <laughs> hee, I love you, daddy. I love you too, my sweetie. Although he is very busy, my dad still makes times to play with me. Daddy, can I work with you? If you have my help, your job will be completed faster. Then we'll go to the park and the zoo together. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you, honey. But you can't do it now. How? Why? Am I not good enough? No, it's just that this job is too hard for you. So when can I help you? When you grow up. Haven't grown up already. I'm five years old. Haha, <laughs> I understand your kindness, but you just need to study hard. That means you're helping me. Really? Really, I'm not kidding. Okay, Daddy. Understand. I'll study hard. That's my girl. He he he. After a while, my father' business took off. We got rich, and my dad isn't as busy as he used to be. And I also started going to school. Oh, and that's all my story. You're so amazing, girl. Surely there will be no one like you. They're so annoying. I know, I know. No guy will refuse me. Ah、uh, hi. I know it will annoy you a little, but can you make a little less noise, please? I trying to write, but, gosh, are you telling me that you're as stupid as your face? No one is allowed to make me shut up. I'm not telling you to be quiet. I just want you to be a little quitter. Duh, it's all the same. Yeah, you can't telling her to silent. Anyway, it's discussion time. We can say whatever we want. Right, ugh, fine, whatever. If you don't finish this essay, you guys will fail all. Damn it, this is all your fault, you idiot. Why me? It's because you guys can't stop talking, and then you fail. That's it. If you had paid attention to the essay, you probably wouldn't have failed. This is not our fault. It's because of you. You make me angry, and I. And we can't do anything else. Yeah, she's right. You distract us. This is all your fault. Excuse me, am I? Duh. Whatever. Either way, you're failed. I don't have time to argue with you guys. You dare. Then I'm leave. How was your school today? I got to a plus. That's a good thing. So why are you sighing? It's not thing much, Daddy. It's just that there are some weird girls messing with me. Oh, honey! If something happens, tell me immediately. I will help you. Yes, Daddy. Thank you. Can we go to the cinema today? There is very good movie, and I want us to watch it together. As you wish, Princess. Yay! On the street, Daddy. Look, there's a homeless couple fighting over a sandwich. Oh God! I see it. There seems to be a guy sitting next to them. Sir, please stop. Sir, would you like to buy a bag of apple? It's only cost a dollar. With your help, I can buy my dinner for today. Sure, give me two bags of apple, okay? Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you, see much. Here, this is your money. What? Two hundred dollars? It too much, sir. I can't take it. Just take it and use it to buy meals. Unk,、um, thank you so much, sir. I have never received such a large amount before. You're welcome. Poor kid, he should be at school, but his parent can't afford it. So, Dad, why don't we do that? Let's send him to school. Are you sure, honey? Please, can we? Don't tell him I'm the one who suggested it. Okay. Okay, my princess. Thanks, Dad. One week later, in the school class today, let me to our new friend. Come in, please. And hi, everyone. My name is Jack. Nice to meet you guys. Great. Now choose your seat. Okay, I understand. Hi, Jack. I'm Dick. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm new here. Nice to meet you too. If you need any help, just tell me. I will help you. Thank you, Doris. Well, well, well. Who is this boy? Is this your pet or what, Doris? I will help you. Ugh. 
such a idiot thought. Yeah, no one new to the school can be so friendly like you. So ridiculous. You guys just like down. What's your problems with you guys? Jack is new and he don't know anything in here. I just want to help him, that's it. So what? Oh let me ask him something. Who brought you to school? Who is your car man? I are. Oh come on guys. Can you see how poor he is? His pants are too old and too small for him. And all he eat to lunch are apple. Haha, uh -huh, so he just a poor boy. Ugh. Don't be so rude to him, Selena. It's okay, Doris. Just ignore them. Okay. Oh, I'm so scared. What do you want to do to me? Will you punch me on my face? Ha ha ha. OMG, I'm so scared. Ha ha ha. After school. Hey, Doris. Wait for me. Yes, what happened? Just want to say thank to you. It's okay, Jack. I know they're so mean. Ugh, those annoying girls. It's look like they're not just messing with me. Yeah, you're right. They're messing with everybody who don't want to listen to them. Oh, it's so rude. You see, right? Just ignore them. They're so annoying. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much, Doris. Haha, <laughs> you're welcome. Daddy, Jack went to school today and he sat next to me. Wow, sounds great. But his clothes are too old and Tom. Can you buy him some new clothes? I'll spend six months of my savings on clothes for him, okay? Hi, <laughs> you don't need to Doris. No, I really want to help him. Okay, okay, then do it your way. And then Jack got new clothes. He looks so much happier than yesterday. Well, look at you, Jack. Your new clothes are so cool. Really? Thank you. My uncle bought it for me. Sound great. Do you want to hang out with me? At the park today? Yes, why not? You're my only friend, and you're not like everyone else. Everyone laughs at me because I'm rural and poor. But you're not, and I'm so grateful for that. Oh, Jack, you don't have to. Oh, and this is my gift for you. An apple. Yes, I'm sorry. I don't have money to buy nicer things. I only have this. No, it's okay. I love it. Thank you. Really? Yes, really. I love Apple so much. Um, he's so sweet. He's simple and more sincere than rich guys who like show it off. Doris, can you hear me? Ah, uh, yes. I'm listen. Let's go to the park. Okay. At the park. Is that where lottery tickets are sold? Where? There, right in front of you. Cool, do you want to buy a lottery ticket? It's gonna be fun. Haha, <laughs> I don't think we'll win the prize. So buy it for fun, okay. Okay, let buy it. Here is your ticket jacket. Thank you, did you also buy one? Yes, I did. I won't win anyway, just buy it for fun. But what if you're lucky, and you win? So I will invite you to eat everything in this world. Haha, <laughs> ha, okay, okay. So how long does it take to get results? In one week we will have the results. Now I have a little hope. Haha, <laughs> you must. One week later. Jack, they already gave the results. Let's see the results with me. Ugh, I'm so nervous now. Can you see the results for me? Haha, <laughs> ha, okay, let me see. Give me your ticket. Okay, here you are. Right, let me see. Young guy won the lottery. Ten million dollars me. I just won ten million dollars. But I don't really need it. But this money can change Jack's life. I have everything but him. Jack, congratulations, you won the lottery. Wait, what? What, say it again. You won the lottery, it's ten million dollars. Can you believe this? Ong, is this true? Yes, look at this. OMG, yes, this is the best day of my life. Thank you so much, Doris. It's all thank to you. Haha, ha, I just bought the ticket. Let's go celebrate. Yeah, yeah. Jack was later interviewed on TV about winning the lottery. I'm so excited to meet him in the school after one week. Oh, Jack, now you're so popular, Jack. Hey. Hey, you get away from him. Don't try to bully him. No, I'm not. Yes, we are very friendly. 
Right, Jack. Doris, relax. They're my friend now. Wait, what, friend? This guy's. Don't be so grumpy. We just want to be friend with Jack. Yeah, he's so nice and handsome. Don't be selfish, Doris. He's not your. What? I'm not selfish. I just don't understand. Jack, do you really consider them friend? Yes, why not? It's true that at first we had friction, but then they repented and changed. Have you really forgotten what they did to you? Don't be so mean, girl. We already apologize. Yeah, Jack, forgive us. It's okay, Doris. They just want to be my friend. You're right, Jack. Now you're so popular, everybody in school want to be your friend too. Really? Yes, I'm not kidding. Let's meet at the party tonight. Sounds cool. But I will go with them. What about you, Doris? Ah,、uh, no, thanks. I'm not. What a pity. So you come with us, Jack? Yeah. Okay, I will call a car to pick you up. Dang it! You're so cool, boy. Yo, we love it so much. Ugh. But what about me? Am I still your friend, Jack? I'm leaving. Oh, looks like someone is angry. Are you okay, Jack? Huh? Yeah, I'm okay. Just ignore her. Maybe she's jealous with me. Oh my God, she's so mean. You don't sow anything wrong, right? Yeah, Doris are so mean. Only you can understand us. Yeah, I know. After winning the lottery. Jack has more and more friend, and he gradually forget who I am. Daddy, I think he forgot who I am. Don't be say, honey. Maybe you can ask him about you. I try, but he doesn't care about me. He has more friend, and they always sit next to him at lunchtime. Before, he and I used to walk the same way, but now he only goes with girls at school. After school. He always goes to parties and spends lavishly. Not only did he hire a private driver, he also constantly bragged about buying a huge house. So, are you regretting the money you gave him? No, I'm not, Daddy. After all the things he did, that amount doesn't matter. I just want him to have a better life, and I feel happy for him. But I'm still sad. Am I too selfish? No, you're not selfish, Doris. Sometimes you need to ignore who doesn't care about you. But he. I know you like him, but can you wait for him? He never had any friends before, so after becoming famous, he will love the feeling of being surrounded by people. I see. I can wait for him, Dad. Okay, you already have your answers, so don't be sad. Okay, Daddy. Two week later. Hey, Doris. It's a long time. I'm sorry for ignoring you for so long. I know you're mad at me. No, I'm not. I'm so happy to see you again, Jack. Really? Really? I just want to ask you about tonight. So, what do you want to do tonight? I want to invite you to dinner at a fancy restaurant, just the two of us. Omg! Yes, I'll be there. So, do you need me to come pick you up? You don't need to. That restaurant is pretty close. I'll go there by myself. Great, then see you at 8 p.m. Okay, see ya. Um, he asked me for dinner. It's also a classy restaurant, and it kind of felt like a date. Um, I can't wait for him. At the evening, I arrived at the restaurant ten minutes earlier, but Jack doesn't come. Damn it! What's the problems with him? Three hours have passed and he hasn't come yet. I called him more than eleven times. He didn't even pick up the phone. The restaurant is about to close. Ugh! I'm so mad. I'm really mad. Did he lie to me? Let's go home. I can't wait any longer. On the street. Omg! Is that Jack over there? What is he doing with that girl? Jack kiss that girl. What the hell, Jack? What are you doing in here? What, Selina? What happened with you, Doris? You surprised us. Oh, Doris, as you can see, he is kissing me, and I'm his girlfriend. Look how stupid you look. What? It can be, Jack. You invited me to dinner, but you didn't come. What do you mean? Gosh, I totally forgot about the dinner. 
But it's not a big deal. You're my friend, right? Will you sympathize with me? Are you crazy? I waited for you for three hours. If you don't come, at least answer the phone. Why does he have to do that? Lovers are always more important than friends, right? Yeah, you're right, Selena. You were selfish for not understanding me, Doris. What? You made me wait in vain, and now you call me selfish for not thinking about you. It's enough, Doris. I know she was wrong before, but Selena has apologized for revealing to me, and she actually really sweet. Ah, my darling, it's absurd. You already know Selena loves you just because you're rich and famous. That's the reason why other people want to be your friend too. What's your problems, Doris? Why can't you just be happy for me? Does this bother you? Because I'm not your poor friend anymore, the one you can feel sorry for and take care of. You just can't stand it because I'm richer than you now. Huh? I can't believe you just said that, Jack. Ugh! You are so annoying. Don't you mind clinging to me like that? Or are you now asking me to give you some money to get out of there? Doris slapped Jack hard in the face. I can't believe you turned down that way. I don't even know who you are anymore. You're not my friend. Ugh. Then I'm leaving. I told my dad everything about that night. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. And I'm so sad to hear Jack turn down this way. Soon he will realize that he has lost the best friend he ever had. Well, it didn't look like he will realize it soon, because he and Selena was now the hottest new couple in the school. And I could hardly stand and look at those two. Just ignore them, Doris. Keep doing your work. I heard that you still have an exam, right? Yes, Daddy. Then Jack will get his prize. Don't worry, honey. Okay, I understand, Dad. Sometimes later, I'm about to give a presentation on a very important essay. I'm so busy that I don't have time to pay attention to Jack. Hi there. Can I sit next to you? Oh, okay. Of course. Thank you. You look really busy. Yeah, in the next few days, I will have to speak in front of a lot of people. I feel like I have to be very careful. This is a good chance for me to get into the university I want. Well, cool. Fighting. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you so much. But sorry, do I know you? Damn! Sound hurt. I'm in the same club as you. What really? Really, I've been wanting to start a conversation with you for a long time, but you seem too busy and keep ignoring me. I'm so sorry. It's because I'm too focused on this essay. I still haven't found the answer to this. So, where would you mind if I see it? Of course you can. It'd be happy if you could explain this to me. Not a big deal. I will help you. Nice. Thank you. You're so kind. Ah, by the way, my name is Doris. Oh, and I'm Timmy. Thank you, Timmy. You're welcome. Would you like to talk to me about this essay, Timmy? Looks like you're very good at this. It's pleasure for me. Timmy and finished to essay together, and the day of the presentation came. They're very famous lecturers who came to watch. Are you okay, Doris? You look too nervous. Ugh, I'm so nervous. What if I don't do well? Don't worry. We tried our best. They will definitely like your essay. Thank you, Timmy. Not at all. I will stand behind the scenes to help you if you get stuck. Ah, thank you so much, Tim. Go ahead. And fighting. Okay. Ung,、um, that's the stupid girl who slapped my lover. She tired to break our love, but now she calmly goes on stage like that. It's really shameless. You, you don't deserve to be on stage. Go down and get out of there. What? She is a selfish person who likes to cause trouble. She feels unhappy because I don't like her. Oh, Umchi, you're bad guy, Doris. Get off the stage, Doris. Just ignore them, please. Oh, guy, forgot all my word. At that time, because I was so embarrassed, I cried. Stop right now, guys. You should know that a very important presentation is happening right now. This is not your circus, Jack Selina. Ugh! What do you mean, babe? He's so rude. 
You want to mess with me, don't you? Don't think that just being rich will make you do everything you like. This student was right. We need to think more carefully about our students. Jack and Selina, get out to here. Meet me at staff room. Ugh. Damn it. Thank you, Tim. I was so confused. It's not your fault. Please continue with your essay. Yes, I understand. My presentation went very smoothly, and decided to pass the teacher's room to teach Jack a lesson. What happened to you this past year, Jack? I'm just kidding. I don't think it's that serious. It's just a joke. What are you thinking? Not only that, your score is also continuously decreasing. You ignore all my warnings, and now you failed three subjects. What? It's impossible. You not graduating high school. You have two repeated year. No, Wyah. There must be another solution. How about I pay out you ten grand and you make my bad point go away? What the hell? Get out of my office, Jack. Not only don't you have no regrets, but you act like it's okay. You deserve what you did. Oh no, please, please, teacher, listen to me. I can't repeat this year. Everyone will laughing at me. That is your problem. If you understood it better, you wouldn't be like that. I have to leave. I feel so sorry with Jack. He was so smart, but he just wasting his time over the stupid things, and now he can't pass this year. What's the problem, Doris? Why are you standing here talking to yourself? Ah, Timo, I'm G. You scare me. I'm sorry. I just want to take you to home. Oh, it's okay. Let's go home. Looks like tomorrow is graduation day. Do you mind if I'm the one to take you to school? Sounds cool. I love it. You love it. Ha ha ha! I understand. Wait, wait. It's not what you think. I know. I know. Relax. I'm just kidding. Meanwhile. Hey, babe. Let's go hang out tonight. I will take you too. Stop talking, Jack. I heard that you will have to repeat this year. What? I'm not who told you so. Duh! Don't lie to us. I hear everything in the office. Yeah, you such a loser. What? Why can you say that to me? We are friend. Not any more loser. We can't hang out with rich guy but no brain. What? Let's break up, Jack. I don't want to be with loser anymore. But you said you love me. Why can you do that to me? Who loves you? I love your money. Only a fool would like a country boy like you, a homeless boy, da homeless boy. Ha ha ha! Such a loser. Graduation day has finally arrived. Tim and I happily received our diplomas together, and of course my dad also attended. Oh hello, sir. It wasn't expected to see you here. Well, I was looking forward to seeing you and my daughter graduate together. Wait, your daughter. What's her name? It's Doris. Yes, in fact, she's the one who asked me to take you to school a few years ago. All your new clothes and food are also paid by her. You have a lot of to thanks her son, including the lottery ticket you think you won. I. After school. Today you look so beautiful, Doris. Ha ha, you to Tim. Hey, Doris. What do you want? I just want to talk with you. Just a little talk, please. Okay, say it quickly. Doris, I know what you did. What kind of crazy person gives away ten million dollars? What? How do you know that? It doesn't matter. Please tell me. Why did you sew that to me? Jack, when I saw you as a kid on the roadside, it broke my heart to think you didn't get as luck as me to be born to rich parents. That lottery ticket is really good for me. But I didn't do anything to deserve it, and I believe that you deserve to have a better life. I still believe that, and I never regret giving you that money. I can't believe I was such a terrible jerk to the best person in my life. I'm really, really sorry. I don't deserve for you forgiveness or friendship, and I will never bother you again. Goodbye, Doris, and I hope you have a wonderful life. Wait, Jack. I know it's hard for me and for you, but. 
I will always be your friend. I forgive you for everything. Really, Doris? I know I was so stupid all that time, but you always be there for me. And you were my guardian angel, you watch over me when no one did. Oh, Jack. I'm so lucky to have a best friend like you. It's okay, Jack. I'm glad that you know who is your true friend. So can I be your friend again? Yes, you can. So he is your best friend, right? Yeah, actually there was a time when I really liked him. Oh, I see it. But now I like the other. Oh, so, who is he? A person who is very close to me and always helps me when I am in trouble. Wow, he's so cool. And I know him. If you're really close to him then I must know who is he. Haha, <laughs> you don't know who is he, really. Are you kidding me? How could I know? It's you, Tim. Huh? What? Me? Yeah, it's you. Haha, <laughs> look at your face now. It's really funny. I love you, Doris. I'm honest. I want to be your boyfriend. Oh, I love you too, Tim. Then Tim and I went on a date. Jack become our good friend. We all found our true love. 